Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number 36 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is Deadly Slashers, and I will be giving my review for Deadly Manor. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. This classic horror story follows a cast of attractive youngsters on a camping trip to a remote wooded area. Joined by a mysterious hitchhiker, the group takes shelter from a storm in an aging mansion. Mystery piles upon mystery until the death begins. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. With this week's Slashback Challenge theme being a deadly slasher, I chose to review Deadly Manor. It's a slasher movie that I have never seen before. Deadly Manor is a fun and entertaining slasher movie that was released in 1990 and the copy that I have runs for 87 minutes long. The movie has an alternate title called Savage Lust and there is another cut of the movie that runs for 82 minutes long. Even though I overall enjoyed this movie, it does have its own fair share of issues. The number one issue I have with this movie is poor lighting in the nighttime scenes. But to be fair about it, it does add some pretty creepy atmosphere to this old manor. Something I found to be pretty interesting is once inside the house, they were able to turn the lights on, so this house still had power run to it. So if these characters were smart, they would have realized that this house that seemed to be pretty vacant was actually not so empty after all. As far as the daytime scenes go, they were poorly lit as well, but I didn't have as big of an issue with them. There's one scene that takes place out in the woods, and it's poorly lit, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on. I did get the general idea, but it's the nighttime scenes that suffers the most, and in particular, the kill sequences. There's quite a few on-screen kills within this movie, and unfortunately, we can't always tell what's going on. You get the general idea of what's happening. It would have been nice to have gotten to see it better. So overall, the lighting issue is the biggest complaint I have with Deadly Manor. It is something that I am able to overlook myself because I have seen plenty of slasher movies to have the same problem. But I do understand that this could potentially be a big issue for certain viewers. So that is why that I wanted to mention it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in Deadly Manor. So we have your very typical type of characters within this movie. We have a group of friends who are traveling together. They are going camping. Along the way, they pick up a mysterious hitchhiker. I thought all the characters were pretty fun within this movie, and I also thought they were all pretty balanced. You really didn't know who the lead characters were, and it just really felt like that anybody could die at any given moment in this movie, and I thought that was pretty interesting. Overall, I thought the acting was pretty average for this type of movie, so I didn't have any issues with the acting. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. So I really like the killer in this movie. We get to see the killer mask, and then we get to see the killer unmask. Both variations of the killer was really cool. The motivations behind the killings was pretty weird. We do get a little bit of a backstory that kind of explains why this killer takes their vengeance out on anybody they come in contact with, so that's pretty cool. There is a little bit more to it than that, but I can't give all the details away. As far as the kills go within the movie, we get some pretty decent kills, but it's all pretty much basic stuff. So this is definitely not a gore fest, and it doesn't really have any kills that stand out. And as I had mentioned earlier, unfortunately some of the kills were a little hard to see. Something else that I wanted to mention about the killer that I thought was pretty cool is that this killer likes to collect scalps. And I just thought that was awesome. This group of friends, they are searching around this old dark manor and find a closet and within this closet is our killer scalp collection so that's pretty cool and something else that's pretty cool is that this old dark manor has caskets in the basement so that's really awesome 
So overall, I thought this was a pretty fun and entertaining slasher movie. I'm going to recommend it to people that are fans of slasher movies of the late 80s and early 90s. You might enjoy this one. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Deadly Manor or let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.